the most important thing? Self-confidence. Without that skill, and I use the word skill intentionally, without that skill, we are useless. Because when you lose sight or belief in yourself, we're done for. I use the definition of self-confidence to be the ability or the belief to believe in yourself to, to accomplish any task, no matter the odds, no matter the difficulty, no matter the adversity. The belief that you can accomplish it. Repetition, 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 right? What does Malcolm Gladwell call it? Uh, the 10,000 hour rule? There's no magic button. Magic, no. Repetition, repetition, repetition. The problem is we expect to be self-confident, but we can't be unless the skill or the task we're doing is not novel, is not new to us. We want to be in a situation where we've created, we've had so much pressure in that, and what I mean because pressure builds diamonds, we want to be in a situation where, hey, I've done this a thousand times. The problem with repetition is, how many of us bail after the first bit of failure? How many of us fail after the first bit of adversity? But practice, 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 and do not accept failure. Maybe it shouldn't be repetition. Maybe the answer should be persistence because we all repeat something, but very few of us really will persist. So that's one way to build self-confidence. Get out there, do what you want to do and accept no, do not accept no. The other one is self-talk. We all have a self-talk tape that plays in our head. It's a difference between hubris and ego and false pride. It's just reminding yourself in quiet, silent moments. Stop the self-talk, the negative self-talk. If you'll watch, you'll see some athletes, they'll have a little bandage or a little um, brand around them. Uh, Lance Armstrong's a perfect one. What's his self-affirmation? Live strong isn't a brand. It was to remind them of who he was. Live strong. Then it became a brand. He would move that from one arm to the next arm when doubt and fear came into his mind. Live strong. Put it on there. Let's go. Self-confident people interpret feedback the way they choose to. If I could give you one thing to take from this, it is no one will believe in you unless you do. We're supposed to be different, folks. And when people look at us, believe in yourself.